Details today, police say the woman behind the wheel of a car that hit and killed three teenagers will be charged with three counts of DUI manslaughter and three counts of vehicular homicide. The teen tragedy happened over the weekend when the boys were on their way to a youth soccer tournament. Police say the driver suffered serious injuries and remains in the hospital but will be arrested when she is released. CBS 4's Riel Creighton has the latest. As North Miami inducted its new mayor and commissioners Tuesday evening, the council paused to remember three teenagers who lost their lives over the weekend. We do understand tonight is our induction ceremony, but at the same time, we can't forget those three teenagers who died last Saturday in this terrible accident. As the mayor was being sworn in, North Miami police working the case, looking into 31-year-old Miriam Kulabele, found at the scene of the crash behind the wheel. Police now say they have probable cause to charge her with three counts of DUI manslaughter and three counts of vehicular homicide. No, I'm her mom. I don't want to be on the picture. I'm sorry. No? I just find out this year I don't know anything. I don't want to picture. Kula Bailey's mother had nothing to say to CBS4. Surveillance video from early Saturday shows three people walking over the tracks on 125th Street and 13th Place in North Miami. It was about 5.15 a.m. Moments later, a car races across the screen. The three teenagers who simply were trying to catch a bus to get to a soccer tournament. 17-year-old Richard Dume, 13-year-old Gideon Desir, and 15-year-old Lenz Desir all died. Family members have had a really hard time understanding how three boys who were doing everything right are now gone. They should charge her, you know, for what she did. She took three boys' life. You know, they have a bright future ahead of them. One, two, three. three. At Edison High School, where Dume and Lenz attended, students released balloons and tried to make sense of it all. He meant so much to the program. You know, he wasn't, he was a good kid, dual sport kid. Everything that you, I look at him like my son. Going to school today was very depressing. You know, the school was down. You know, a lot of kids knew him. He was a good kid. You know, he, gre he greeted everyone. He walked in the room. He was a good kid, always smiling. Kula Bailey has a long history of traffic violations from speeding to driving on a suspended license. According to investigators, her license was suspended Saturday. Police are now watching her at Aventura Hospital where she is recovering from injuries that happened during the crash. Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.